Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to get AdMob set up in your CodeCars 2D JS project using the CodeCars helper. As always, you need to have completed the getting started video for the CodeCars side of your project. If you haven't done that, there'll be a link in the description on uh, where that video is. And as always, you need the latest version of the CodeCars helper downloaded from GitHub, and again, the link will be in the description. So we're going to go to the AdMob website and you're going to want to log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to monetize. And we're going to click on monetize new app. And we're going to click on add your app manually. Uh, if you already have your app on the store, you can search for it, but mine won't be. So I'm just going to call this um, Helper JS test uh, platform platform of Android. And then click add app. And I'm going to add two add units. So I'm going to add the banner first. Let's call it banner ad and click save. And I create another ad unit, call it interstitial, and call it full screen ad and click save and click finished. And as you can see, you've got both your ad IDs. Um, so Next, I'm going to open up the CoCos helper and my project, which again is always just a blank CoCos project. And I'm going to go into Frameworks and I'm going to copy across AdMob into Frameworks, Runtime Source, Project Android, Source, Sonar, Systems, Frameworks. Paste it in there. And I think that is it so I've already got my project open in uh, Eclipse so if I just refresh that obviously I've got errors of AdMob at the moment so we're going to start with the manifest so if we go into the manifest AdMob requires uh, Google Play services so we only need the bottom meta tag so if you take this comment and paste it there. So uh, this is for Google Play services, and if you ignore that error for now, that's because we haven't actually included the Google Play service library yet, which we will be doing. And lastly, the required for AdMob, uh, need to uncomment that. So required for AdMob should be uncommented, and you should have this activity. And that's what we need to do in the manifest. Next, we want to go into uh, resources, values, and to the settings file. And add mob. We have a top banner ID and a bottom banner ID, so you can display more than one banner. And your interstitial ID is here. And you can also put your test device ID in here. I'm not going to put a test device in. I'm going to put in my full screen banner ad into the interstitial and I'm going to use the same banner ad for both top and bottom um, when you're pasting these in make sure there's no white space at the end Okay, so my IDs are in, and you want to go to the Sonar Systems Framework, Settings, and set AdMob to True. As you can see, it requires Google Play Services Library, so we're going to do that now. Uh, if you haven't downloaded it, if you click on the Android SDK Manager. Scroll all the way down to Extras, you can see Google Play Services and you can install it. And it will download to this path. So, so it would be that path plus Extras then under Google Play Services. So that's where you're going to want to navigate to next because that's where I'm going to navigate to now. So we're going to go to File, Import, Existing Android Code into Workspace, then navigate to that path. So, developments, 
Android SDK extras, and then Google, Google Play Services, and click OK. And I'm going to deselect all and just click on the Google Play Services library. That's all we need. Click Finish. So that's imported now. So you can right click on your project, go to Properties, add in the Google Play Service library, uh, go to Java Build Path, add jars, expand the Google Play Service library, and under Bin, there will be the Google Play Services library jar. And to order and export, just tick that. It hits, well, don't need to save anything. So as you see, all the errors have gone away now. So I'm going to write some code. So I've already got my app.js open from the source folder. And we are going to, on the button click, show the banner ad with a position. And you can pass through in show banner ad with a position. The position could be either top, bottom, or both, I believe. Yeah. Bottom, top, or both. Uh, so show banner ad. So I'm going to show banner ad at uh, both for now. Let uh, me click. So so it would be add banner position dot e both like that and so I'm going to show you the result of this the other function you can call is hide the add banners which again you can hide what either the top bottom or the default will hide all that add banners that are showing which is this method here and you also could call show full screen ad which would show the full screen ad which I'm not going to show the result of um, as it's been done on the C++ side so if you wanted to see the similar result that you should get it would be on the um, Android C++ uh, tutorial of AdMob so I'm just going to uh, compile and run this and I'll show you the results I get in a moment so I'm going to run the app and push the button and as you can see I've got a banner at the bottom and a banner out at the top. So hopefully this has helped you get uh, AdMob into your game. And obviously you can use the interstitials full screens as well. As always, have a good day.